हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand Parseval's theorem. The Parseval's theorem states that the normalized energy content E of continuous time signal x of t can be computed by integrating magnitude of x of j omega square over all frequencies. Therefore, we can write energy E is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity. magnitude of x of t whole square dt that can be written as 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity magnitude of x of j omega whole square d omega therefore we can say the normalized energy content e of continuous time signal x of t can be computed by integrating magnitude of x of j omega square over all frequencies now let us prove this proof from inverse fourier transform we can write x of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity magnitude of j omega into exponential to the power of j omega t d omega let us call this as equation number 1 now we can write the complex conjugate of above equation as x star of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x star of j omega exponential to the power of minus j omega t d omega let us call this as equation number 2 now we know energy can be written as integration of minus infinity to infinity magnitude of x of t whole square dt so this equation we can write it as integration of minus infinity to infinity magnitude of x of t whole square we can write it as x of t multiplied with complex conjugate of x of t dt here let us substitute equation number to so let us substitute the value of equation 2 therefore we can write e is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t into 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x star of j omega exponential to the power of minus j omega t d omega into dt now let us change the order of integration if we change the order of integration we can write it as e is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x star of j omega into integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt d omega so if you observe this term this is x of j omega so we can write energy e is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity x star of j omega into x of j omega d omega therefore we can write energy e is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus infinity to infinity magnitude of x of j omega whole square d omega so this is the proof hope you have understood this topic thank you